I'm working on Project Hannah 3.9. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I mean, earlier this year, what we decided to do as a team, um, because my health wasn't doing so well over the last years, and it was a compounded thing. That's why over the last, I think, half a decade, I've been saying I want to try and slow down, slow down. But it's not, you can't just shut everything and just, you know, leave. You have teams that depend on you, or clients that depend on you. Um, so it, it was a process of trying to streamline all the work that I was previously doing from the software development to the different other commitments. Um, and I think learning how to say no was something that was key. Um, you know, sometimes maybe it was a, a low self-esteem thing where you try and just want to please people, just want to make people happy because you want to seek that kind of acceptance or validation and you don't want to disappoint people. So I have um, uh, been entrusted with a lot of things. <laughs> so it was, it was, it, it took some time to, to kind of, kind of finish up all the projects one by one. And I have such great uh, people that I work with, such great uh, clients, and you know, sometimes they say, please support us in this event. You know, uh, and then I say, you know, I, 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 I stopped emceeing ready, I stopped hosting ready. Uh, but okay, okay, you know. Then they say, please one more time, you know. And and these are such wonderful people that I've grown with, and from clients they become like friends and family. Um, so thankfully, over the years, we've managed to kind of kind of slow down, and and of last year. I decided to uh, basically take a step back from uh, branded content on social media because social media was something I was always quite heavily invested in in terms of time. Uh, so that's what I've tapered off and coming into this year, I think it was just timed really nicely that when the MCO happened, you know, I had already kind of laid back a lot of things and because I was um, going you know, to see different doctors and you know, doing all sorts of scans and I, I definitely hope to be able to share my story uh, with you guys uh, once this season is over. But um, it's compounded health issues because for 15 to 20 years, I slept for three to uh, four hours a day, some days no sleep at all, and that takes a toll on the health. Um, and I was just uh, just running, and my this uh, my lifestyle wasn't healthy. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't uh, eating right. Uh, you know, we think that, you know, taking vitamins or medication will help, but at the end of the day, it's compounded in five to ten years. It just, when your body deteriorates, it deteriorates very fast. So, um, so I've learned a lot. And uh, But when I was younger, I've always wanted to be a doctor. That never happened, thank God, for all the future patients that I would have had. <laughs> and um, never had the chance to study medicine. But interestingly, throughout all the years, from the different health uh, experiences that I've had, you know, from brain tumor to all these uh, cysts on my ovaries to, um, you know, uh, having chronic pharyngitis, almost losing my voice, then almost losing my eyesight, almost losing a lot of things in my, my I mean, physically, uh, I learned so many things about the human body and, and, and it made me study a lot of things and I think um, although I didn't get to be a doctor, but I've learned a lot of things that I, I find a lot of ways and avenues and platforms that I can relate to so many different people. Like I've uh, had people say that, you know, I've had this uh, migraine for, for so long. I say, yeah, me too. Uh, I know what it feels like and I can actually say yes, I know what it feels like and because I've been through that and here's what worked for me, you know. Uh, I've been insomniac for, for five to ten years and living on sleeping pills. Uh, I know what it feels like being constipated for all my life. I know what it feels like. And there's so many health issues. So I think health is one of my health and wellness is one of my passions. Uh, um, so eventually, you know, I hope to be able to compile all these stories. And um, this year, what I wanted to do was to kind of take a step back from branded content and paid and engagements. Um, of course, you know that. We have a team that needs to office overheads and all that that needs to keep going. Uh, but um, we like to work with you know, nice people uh, like you guys. You know? 
So it, we, at this stage, you know, it, 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 it's a, it's a, it's um, I guess it's a luxury or a blessing to be able to choose who you want to work with, kind of thing. But on the social media front, I wanted to take a step back from branded content. So what I did was a little experiment was I changed my whole uh, Instagram profile to private. You know, of course, uh, some clients say, oh no, no, we can't. Uh, have this, you know, we, we, we say, okay, we take a step back from branded content. And let's just focus on our online family and all these people that have journeyed with me through the 15, 20 years. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to come up with some uh, with content solutions for them because over the years they've asked me things about relationships, uh, mental health, you know, how to deal with depression, you know, suicide, um, health problems, you know, or how to get six pack. Um, how to lose weight, lose belly fat, you know, take care of skin, everything, you know, how to deal with a difficult spouse, uh, you know, how to know this girl is the one for me that I should marry. So all these questions, very interesting questions. Um, um, and I've grown with all these uh, wonderful people. I call them my online friends. So uh, I wasn't able to answer all those questions, but I have a pool of questions that, you know, I thought, okay, these are so many commonly asked questions. I said, maybe I'll a compiled content, um, content solutions for them, specifically catered to them, just for them. It's not for our, uh, the public, it's just for them because they it's a closed group. You know, people have Facebook, closed Facebook groups and all that. So I guess Instagram, closed, face, closed Instagram group, why not? You know, it's like a family. Um, so I'm working on that. So we've got some exciting content lined up. Uh, but not for not for advertising advertisement purposes, but more uh, on um, answering questions for people like you know how do I deal with this? How do how do you deal with that? How do you do this or that? You know, uh, so all these things. Um, there's so much content up here, so it's just translating it um, into videos, um, uh, writing, and. Uh, so it takes time, but uh, that was uh, what I wanted to work on as a passion project this year. So seeing that, you know, we, we had a pause with MCO and everything else, I thought, wow, this is perfect timing. Uh, let's work on something to give back, you know, to, to the people. So um, I decided, you know, I've worked so hard all my life because I, I, knew, I knew what it felt like to be hungry and poor. And I didn't want to be poor. I didn't want to be hungry again. But I think I went too far. Um, if someone told me that Hannah, you're going to uh, work so hard and, and and sacrifice your health and everything else, uh, but only earn this money and give it back to the doctors again, I wouldn't have believed them. But now I do. So I think you, know, you make so much money or you, you work so hard for what? <laughs> this MCO you already discovered is what you need. It's very basic. And, uh, we need very little to survive and be happy. So um, instead of working so hard and giving the money back to the hospitals and to the stock, <laughs> uh, you know, we might as well just enjoy the process. We don't know how how long we have. To be, uh, so yeah, <laughs> interesting. For me, what I learned, which I thought was applicable and, and, and important to everyone around me was I noticed that you know there were two sides of um, two opinions on the MCO. Some people say oh this is bad, this is the worst year that's ever happened to us, you know, twenty twenty is a crappy year, you know, everything that went wrong went wrong. People lost their jobs, people got kicked up. Um, you know, people lost family members. Um, and uh, I, I understand what it means because during that time we also lost uh, our family uh, and um, I think people closest to me have also gone through um, all those, you know, the wide spectrum from investors to business owners to even employees that have lost their jobs. So I met the other side of the, the spectrum, you know, yeah, I mean, I got a pay cut, but you know, I still have my job and I'm lucky to still keep my job. And a lot of people realize that in this time, because um, resources are, 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 are so scarce, right? Um, 
we're forced into a situation where we are forced to do more for less. Sometimes we have to go over and beyond for certain clients or to, 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 to get the same amount of pay, we have to do more. Uh, some people have to do things that they've never done before in their life, like learn how to do food delivery, you know. Um, businesses are forced to expand and all so on and so forth. Uh, um, some people say that I don't have enough money, I don't have enough resources, uh, I don't have enough capital to sustain. Uh, and I realized one thing, um, being accountable with the little that we have is, is, is so important. If we can learn to be accountable with the little that we have, when we have more, uh, we will always do better. You know? um, some people say, oh, I can't do this right now because I don't have enough time. Uh, I can't do this now because I don't have enough capital, resource, money. But if we, we all have the same thing, 24 hours in a day. We, most of us, you know, still have our limbs with us. You know, um, and we have the internet, that's a very powerful resource, and it puts us all on a very level playing field. I feel because with everything stripped away from us, we're all at home with the same about, about the same amount of resource. Some people don't have food yet, uh, but most of us are, are fortunate enough to have food at home. Uh, sure, we need to pay rent and figure out all these things, but we still have the same 24 hours, and yeah, our resources are downsize but if we can learn to be accountable with this little we will definitely do better with a lot so it's not about waiting until oh i have more than i can do this that. see what we can do with this little and that art of accountability um is what will differentiate those who will uh, do very well in the extremes in this situation because these people are you know it's like an antenna you know, you're looking for um, opportunities to grow and um, expand and do things beyond your comfort zone. You know, learn new things. Learn. Um, sometimes you know you don't have. You know, some people say I have too much time. Yeah, you know you learn baking. You learn to to master your craft until it becomes an instinct. And I think that is key because that is the spirit of excellence. That's what excellence is all about, right? Going over and beyond. And I think when we when we are over committed. That's when the magic happens. So I just want to encourage everyone um, who's listening or watching that, um, yeah, in spite of the current circumstance, um, we have there's if there's bigger room, uh, there's a bigger gap. That means we have a bigger room for accelerated growth. So are we going to use this to accelerate the growth, or are we going to just say, oh, for me, life is going to go on anyway. But life is more fun as a happy person. So. We take it and we see what we can do with it and uh, we make the most of it and uh, encourage one another. I think that that's one of the most important things for me that I've learned this season and I hope you will encourage everyone else. <laughs> I would go to uh, Kuchi uh, where my parents live because they've been um, they were supposed to come to KL actually during uh, then the MCO happened and uh, so during this uh, MCO uh, my mom and dad live in like a Compton area uh, so they my mom got some uh, chicks little chicken chicks and she got two batches one batch is for to eat one <laughs> one batch is for eggs and then she's been sending us videos um, and uh, what she's been feeding them and she treats them like pets and they, they're growing up so well and my dad built like a playground for them so that they can move around, roam around and I was like, wow mom, are these, are these chickens or children? <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I, if it's two minutes, you know, I'm just curious, I just want to see what what's going on at that end because she's been sending us pictures and videos but you know in real life it's very different thank Bye -bye. you send my love to everyone at that yeah. and thank you so much take care bye <laughs>